Let's take a look at important points to remember when replacing a clutch. When ordering a replacement clutch, it is necessary to check the vehicle's model, the year the vehicle was made, and the type of engine. This will ensure that you order the correct replacement clutch. The clutch is a very delicate component. If the clutch disc is even slightly damaged or deformed by mishandling, it will come into uneven contact with the flywheel or the pressure plate, preventing the engine torque from disengaging. The clutch cover must also be handled with care. If it is dropped, the clip could become bent, impairing disengagement performance or causing chattering noise. More severe deformation could shift the position of the dowel holes and make installation impossible. After securing the transmission with the transmission jack, pull the transmission off and lower it so that the crankshaft and top shaft are aligned along the same axis. After removing the clutch, confirm that there is no oil leaking from the crankshaft seal, the transmission, the operation cylinder, the master cylinder, or the clutch booster. Confirm that there is no wear, patterned wear, or thermal distortion of the flywheel surface where it comes into contact with the clutch disc. If any of these problems are seen, replace the flywheel with a new one or repair it by grinding the appropriate surfaces. The release bearing must always be replaced with a new one. Confirm there is no grease leakage or damage and that the bearing turns smoothly. Some clutch covers are pull type, and you can disengage the clutch by pulling the diaphragm spring. Exidy pull type clutch covers employ a snap in mechanism for extremely easy removal and bearing replacement. Finally, confirm there is no end float in the top shaft and check the teeth for wear. Be sure to handle the clutch carefully and wear clean cotton work gloves. If the clutch is handled with greasy hands or gloves, grease may get on the facing material, the pressure plate or the flywheel and cause a chattering noise, faulty disengagement, slipping or shuddering. Check the clutch disc that is being installed to confirm that the facing is not chipped and that there are no scratches on the splined hub teeth. If no problem is found, fit the clutch disc onto the transmission's top shaft and confirm that it moves smoothly. After confirming that the clutch disc moves smoothly, remove it from the top shaft and use a brush to apply grease to the splined hub teeth and to the teeth of the top shaft. Fit the clutch disc back onto the top shaft and wipe away any excess grease. Excess grease could fly off and cause a chattering noise or a slipping problem. Confirm there are no scratches or other defects on the friction surfaces of the pressure plate. If there are no problems, use cleaner to degrease the pressure plate friction surfaces. Also, degrease the flywheel in the same way.
When installing the clutch, use an alignment tool to center the clutch disc. Align the clutch cover with the flywheel dowel pins and temporarily tighten at least three diagonally opposed bolts. If the bolts are not temporarily tightened, the clutch cover could fall off and cause an injury. Before finishing tightening the bolts, reconfirm that the clutch disc is centered. Now tighten the bolts to the specified torque, alternating between diagonally opposed positions. Do not use an impact wrench to tighten the bolts. Differences in diaphragm height could cause a chattering noise or other problems. Clutch covers for mid-size and larger vehicles are fitted with red bolts, red wires, and red plates for temporary assembly. After installing the clutch, be sure to remove them. If the parts for temporary assembly are not removed, they will cause the clutch to slip or to seize. Before reconnecting the transmission to the engine, confirm there are no scratches on the housing mounting surface or on the engine's mounting surface, and wipe the surfaces with a clean rag. If any scratches are found, repair them. When reassembling the transmission, position it so that the crankshaft and top shaft are aligned in a straight line. While aligning the teeth, carefully insert the top shaft all the way into the clutch disc spline in a single motion. Stopping midway or forcing the top shaft in could dent the splined hub teeth and result in faulty disengagement. After confirming that the top shaft is inserted all the way into the spline, align it with the housing dowel pins. After confirming that the clutch housing is fully in contact with the engine's mounting surface, tighten the housing mounting bolts to the specified torque, alternating between diagonally opposed positions. Do not use an impact wrench to tighten the bolts, as the top shaft could be shifted off-center. This type of correct handling and installation will enable XD products to display their peak performance. XD has introduced the latest high-tech equipment and industry-leading quality assurance so that you can use Exidy products with confidence. State-of-the-art testing systems verify the durability and reliability of Exidy products to ensure superior quality. Exceptional dependability is guaranteed by a comprehensive production system, from design to shipment of the finished product, and a rigorous quality control system. Exidy's complete lineup of clutch kits, racing clutches, and other fine products is designed to meet virtually any customer need. Incorporating customer feedback in world-class products known for quality and reliability, Exidy is contributing to the evolution of today's motorized society as the world's leading manufacturer of drivetrain equipment. <laughs>